I remember one time I was in a meeting and one of my colleagues was presenting an amazing report that everyone really liked it. But at the end, her manager asked her a challenging question that made her nervous. Do you like to know the question her manager asked? He asked, show me the details behind your visualizations. Hello everyone, Shab is back with another interesting video. Today I will teach you how to use the drill through option to show the details behind your visualization. Before going to the video, please like and share it and subscribe to the channel to get the notification for the new upcoming video. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram and read the Power BI articles on my blog. Stay tuned. Let's take this example. It's time to present your report in the showcase. You are presenting a report about company sales amount during the time. Then, your manager asks, could you please provide me the information about the September 2014, which we has a significant decrease in our sales. I want to see the details by each salesperson to understand if someone's performance affected the sales amount. Would you please provide me more details? If you use Excel or just some static graphs, then you probably have to say, um, um, I will be back to you soon. Uh, then you should go search the database, retrieve the information again, print or save them on an another Excel file to show the details to your manager. But you are so lucky if you are using Power BI to present your data. You can already implement the drill through option in your report to show the details about your visuals. All you need to do is to choose a category and then drill it through to the page you created earlier and boom, present your data. Then you can see the details for the particular salesperson and make the appropriate decision to solve the issues and recover the low sales amount. Whatever your manager need is achievable just by some simple clicks. So. How much is it difficult to create this? No sweet, it's easy as ABC. Let's dive in. Okay, assume that we have a simple report here in Power BI that shows us the information about the numbers of orders, sold product numbers, and sales amount. In the line graph, I use sales amount on the Y axis and a date hierarchy including year and month stain on the x-axis. So you can see the changes in time and if I hover my mouse on each point of the time, the pop-up window shows you more detailed info. But what we are looking for here is looking at salesperson's performance and also see who are the customers for each salesperson. To do this, I can set separate detailed pages and connect to this report page. This feature is called as drill through. But how can I do that? At the first glance, you may notice the drill through here. And you will say, easy busy. But no, it's not. In the first step, you should create a new page from here at the bottom of the report. I will call it as salesperson. This page serves the details about employees' performance. You can decide what type of visuals or information to put in this page. You can press on the plus button and create a new page and then start building it. But to save time, I just right click on the name of the initial page and duplicate it. It helps me to copy all elements of the previous page, including the background and other required elements into this new page. First of all, I edit the page title and then change the line graph to a column graph and remove the fields from the visualization. Then I add the sales amount measure to the Y axis field and the full name from DIM employee table to the X axis. 
Let's format the visual. Turn on the toggle for data labels. From the columns and color section, choose the FX button and edit it based on the sales amount value. And turn off the grid line. It makes visual messy. I would also like to add two card visualizations and drag month's name and year into them and just format the visuals. Now you can see a neat and tidy column graph which shows the sales amount by each sales person. So it's the time to add the real true option. Let's go back to the initial page and see what we have there. On the line graph, we have sales amount by year and month's name. So these two fields are the ones which should be used for drill through. You can use any field or category for the drill through if you use them on one of your visuals. Here we only have year and month's name and we will use them. Now we go back to the salesperson page and at the bottom of the visualization pane, we can see drill through fields. Just drag and drop year and month name from dim date table into this field. Easy. When you add any column to the drill through field, on top left a back button will be created automatically for you. I just drag it to the position I like, add a text value to it and format it. Are you ready to see the results? Let's go back to the initial page. Right-click on each point of the time on your line graph and there you can see the drill through option. For example, here I right-click on September 2014 for further details. If you hover your mouse on drill through, the name of the pages that you have set drill through will be appeared. Here you can see sales person. This page shows you the detailed information about the performance of your salesperson. And as you can see, the card's info shows the data is related to September 2014. Now to go back to the previous page, you can easily click on the back button and go back to the last page. You can now choose another month, like August 2015, and drill through to the salesperson page. Interesting! Let's create another page for the customer's info to understand to whom each of the salespersons sold the products. I quickly create this page for demonstration and name it as customers. Now the same as what we did for salesperson page, we should add a column to the drill through field. Which column do you think we should use? Correct, full name. If we go back to the salesperson page, we can see full name from the team employee table is the field which we used on the column graph to represent sales amount. Let's go back to the customers page and easily drag and drop the full name into the drill through field. Similarly, you can see a back button created on the top left. I just move it to the position I like and add the text value and format it. It's worthwhile to test all the report from the beginning. I go back to the initial page and here I choose April 2015, where we experience a strike on sales amount. Right click on the graph and drill through to the salesperson page. Here we can see the info for different salespersons. Now we want to have a look at customers who bought our products from Hudson, our top performer employee. So right click on Hudson's column and choose the drill through and then customers. Fantastic. Now you can see the Hudson's customers. 
This time, if your manager asks for more details about the data behind your visuals, don't worry. Easily use drill through and act like a superhero. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram and read the Power BI articles on my blog. Have a good day, all Power BI lovers.